Hey friends, I am so excited to be studying the word with you today and getting into prayer. Today I'm going to be using the original Coffee and Bible Time prayer journal. It is still available on our website and for Easter we are having a 15% off sale. It's going to be with the code PRAYER15. So yeah, I'm just enjoying my coffee. And yeah, this has just been what my mornings have been like. Um, they're not usually this neat and tidy, but you know, when you're filming a video, it's good to have it neat and tidy. Um, but I also wanted to let you know that we have an Easter printable that is for free. So please guys go check out the free Easter printable. And um, yeah, let's focus on what's most important this Easter season. And even if it's not Easter when you're watching it, please go check it out. So yeah, we're getting into the prayer journal today, the Coffee and Bible Time prayer journal. If you don't have one, I would encourage you to get one, but also you don't need a Coffee and Bible Time prayer journal in order to pray. Um, you can just get some tips from this video on how I pray and yeah, leave comments in the description on tips on how you pray. Um, I would love to read those. So these are some of the products I use, the pens, the highlighters, I'll have linked down in the description. I love using them. Um, yeah, so we're just getting right into the prayer journal. I'm going to teach you guys how I go through section by section. Someone requested this. How do you pray through the journal section by section? So I'm going to show you how. I start off in the praise section and honestly, you guys, it's different every day. Sometimes I'll only do one section in the prayer journal. Sometimes I will do all of them. Um, usually when I have more time, I'll do all of them. But for this video, what I kind of focused on and for this prayer session was praying God's word through almost all the sections. And so for the um, pray section, I started with Psalm 34. And so I was just looking through Psalms and I wanted to find a Psalm that was that had praises in it and Psalm 34 is actually one of my favorite Psalms um, and so it says I will bless the Lord at all times his praise shall continually be on my mouth in my mouth and or other translations say on my lips and so guys just think about that like having God's praise continually on your lips like I don't know I just love Psalm 34 it really reroutes my mind so I um, prayed that in the section. Now for this video, obviously you can see that I'm going through it really fast, but if this was real life, I would take more time to chew on that verse and really pray that verse back to the Lord. So the next section in the journal is confession. And so this is just a time to reflect. And I ask myself the question, where has your heart been? So honestly, sometimes I just sit and I think, and I think about... Oof, the crazy anxious thoughts that I have been having and um, where my heart has been turning to, I noticed like literally during this prayer session, I was like, I've been very stubborn and resistant lately um, to just letting go and surrendering all. And so I turned to Psalm 139 because I'm trying to pray more scripture. I love doing this. And I, at the end of Psalm 31, 139 it says search me O god and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting i love the beginning of this psalm too especially for confession it says O lord you have searched me and you know me you know when i sit down and when i rise up you discern my thoughts from afar you searched out my path my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways even before a word is on my tongue behold O lord you know it all together and so it's just this idea of god already knows what is on your heart he knows where you're at he knows all your sinful thoughts he knows every action you've ever done in the dark and so the lord knows and now it's up to us to confess and repent and to write it down and to receive his forgiveness because my friend he forgives you he loves you he doesn't remember your sin like he casts it into the ocean and so rest in that all right guys so now it's time to give thanks to the lord and so i went to my bible and 
I did not know what I was going to pray for this. Honestly, what scripture? I was just like, you know what? There are some great passages in the Psalms on giving thanks to the Lord that I could use um, for my Thanksgiving prayer time. And so I found Psalm 138. And so I wrote it down on this page that is called Give Thanks and where I've just written down a bunch of thankful scriptures. And so this Psalm specifically says, I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. I absolutely love the idea of wholeheartedness in worship. And so giving thanks with my whole heart, that's what I wrote down and just prayed that from my heart. So now I am in the rest section of the prayer journal. And honestly, you guys, I struggle with this section. I'm going to be real with you. Um, a lot of times I just sit there and honestly, my heart just like kind of throws up and what I mean by that is just like I word vomit all these things to the Lord and then I just sit there and try to be still and sometimes God impresses things on my heart and this day he impressed your grace is enough rest so just trying to rest in God's grace for me and the fact that I am a sinner but his grace is enough so now I'm in the section called urgent and this is just prayers you know when you get I have my phone right there because I was looking up people's texts um, that they sent me uh, people who have urgent prayer requests and so I was just writing those down and praying for them as I wrote it that down and um, yeah we all have friends and family who have urgent prayer requests and these are just very important to continue to pray for so now I'm in the petition section which essentially means praying for yourself and as you can see this section is very full for me because uh, y'all I know how much like sometimes my heart just like needs the Lord and actually all the time I need God um, I wish I knew that more how much I needed God but um, that's why this section is so full because I'm like Lord I need you I need to be praying more too like I could have a whole prayer journal with this section filled to the brim. Um, so yeah, anyways, you guys, I went to Psalm 119 for this prayer because I just love Psalm 119 and I wrote down um, Psalm 119, 9 through 11, which says, how can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And so for this, I was just praying like, Lord, help me to store your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Help me to seek you with my whole heart. Guys, we cannot seek God on our own. We need to ask him for the strength and the capacity and the will to search him and to seek him and to find him. Now I'm in the praying scripture tab and I realized I hadn't prayed this prayer. It's from Exodus 33, 13 and Moses prayed it and it says, If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. So I just kind of echoed this prayer that Moses prayed back to God and yeah, just prayed it out and I don't know, guys, there's something special about praying prayers that other um, amazing spiritual leaders in the Bible prayed. And so just praying like, God, I want to know you more. Like, I want to continue. Like, I want you to look at me and smile. I want you to have, um, uh, how, how am I saying this? I want you to continue to find favor with me. And so that was the prayer I was praying in the praying scripture section. This is one of my favorite sections. I love praying scripture, maybe because I love God's word so much, but there's just something special about prayer and scripture. And I really think the two should not be divorced. They should be so intertwined. So the next section is day of the week prayer. And so today was Wednesday when I filmed this video. And so Wednesday is praying for non-believers. And so I just lifted up a prayer um, about one of my non-believing friends. And yeah, just, you know, lifting her up to Jesus and praying for her. 
and then I actually went to another section praying. Um, um, I think it's the mission section, and I prayed for one of my friends who just is starting to go on a two-month missions trip, and so I prayed for her and just lifted her up in prayer. And yeah, now I'm at the end praying. Um, how like just looking back through the prayer journal and saying, okay, God, what prayer have you answered? This is actually really special. I love going back. And trying to find a sticky note that God has answered a prayer for. And then even if he hasn't answered it how I thought he would, he still answered it. And so for this um, day, uh, answered prayer that he answered was on um, two conferences that me and Taylor spoke at a while ago. And just how God was so faithful in answering our prayers for that and using us, even though me and Taylor felt so weak and just so like... I don't know. We just felt like, why are we the ones to speak at this conference? But God used us. He spoke through uh, through us and he was glorified. So our prayers were answered. Guys, that is all I have for you. I know that was a huge video. I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with a friend. And yeah, love you. Bye.